red means nothing. Whenever we got something, then definitely to think about our code and we have to modify unless we overcome the problem. Whenever we got something with red color, it is nothing but an error. So unless we fix that problem, we may not proper reset. And and the log just the right keyword. Check that. I should well SCT will be that. We have declared it as S C but the actual keyword is SCT. So that's why the best way to learn this as to understand the information that we got in the log window. Then in general we will never get any syntax errors or program errors. Just select this particular window and go for the save, specify the location where it will save it, declare the name, by what name maybe the information that we have here, all that will be stored as I'm saying, location. Here we have output. Presently, we have nothing in the output window. Why? Because the output window will become to only while we are working with procedures. Remember that in SAS language, we have two different types of programs. One is and programming and another is box step. We have data step as well as box step. For a simple understanding I can say data step is used to create and manage the tables. Data step is used to create the table and it is used to manage the information that is present in the tables. But proc step is used to do the analysis and report writing about those tables. Already we have certain tables, now we want to analyze it or we want to generate a report regarding those particular tables. There we need the help of proc step. The entire base has we used to have only these two programs. And every data step will always start with the keyword data and every proc step will always start with the keyword proc. That means we try to create the table, not declare any program to do the analysis. Okay? So if you want to analyze it, if you want to analyze Okay, then we need the help of proc. Once we have any, that result will be displayed in the output window. The output window will become act only while we are working with the proc step. So let me go with a small example. Check out here. We have libraries. In the explorer window, we have libraries. I try to open the library. Spreadies means nothing but presently it has five folders in it. In these five, I have taken SAS help as an example and I try to open it. It has number of items in it. In all those, I have taken one of the file by the name class. I try to open the class. Check out. Class is a table which has exactly five columns. 19 rows. We have 5 columns and 19 rows. Now I want to perform a small analysis on this particular table. I just want to find out the frequency about the age. How many persons are there with age 30? How many persons are there with age 20? I just don't know. So there we need 
PROC. Here PROC stands for procedure and I'm trying to identify, let's see, so the name of it is nothing but freak and we are trying to apply it on which table? Table is nothing but class but as it was there on the SAS help, we must call it as sub. Last table we have icons. By default it will try to give the information regarding all the files, but we want to have the information regarding all so table H. Table is used to declare the name of column, name of column on which you want to do the analysis. Then I said run. Run is just to execute the program. So see of a table by the name class which is cell. In the class we have five columns but I don't want to get the information regarding all of them. So I said I want to have information about only H. Then I said execute. As I came to run this they got something immediately in the output window. Check out it says totally we have six different age values 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and the least frequency is for the age 16 where we have only one person and the highest frequency is for the age 12 where we have five persons. Mm -hmm. Along with the frequency it has given the percent as well as cumulative values. So the output window will become active only when we do the analysis of report writing. Of course, it will also uh, it will display the information with only two colors, then black. It will not support the remaining. And if you want, we can save this particular information. Here we have save just specify the location where you want to save it and declare what name you want. That was the information regarding the output and on the left side we have results. Results is used to maintain the list of reports that we have generated in a particular SAS session. Here I declared it so it has generated a single report. So under the result we will have that single but in the similar way if I have declared 10 reports then the following reports will be maintained under the results. Of course it will not only maintain the list of reports but it will also provide the access to open those reports. Directly we can open the reports from here itself. So remember that we cannot store this list, whatever the list that we got onto the results, we cannot save that list. And finally, here we have Explorer. We got Explorer is a combination of four different icons. We have computer, favorite folder, file shortcut as well as libraries. Think about computer. This is used to interact with the local machine so that we can access the local system. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we used to do is here we have the entire list of drives. So when we access it, uh, it's the files that are present in the local machine from here itself. Like favorite folder is also used to interact with the local machine, but not regarding it is regarding a specific folder. Here we have created a shortcut to my documents. The requirement to open them directly I can access them from here itself. Without minimizing the fans, we can access those things directly from here itself. In the similar way here we have file shortcuts. Here we have shortcut. This is used to create a shortcut in between the system. 
continue with the libraries by tomorrow. I'll stop here. Okay then, we will continue by tomorrow. So are we done today? Yes. Oh really? One hour is gone. <laughs> so quickly. Actually we came late. Uh -huh. That was the reason. Anyway, if I start another topic, I have to stop in the middle. So okay. I don't want to stop in the middle. So are you also giving us this um what do I mean the I will send it to you. Please, thank you. That'll be great. This is Rama. Uh, thanks for your yes. time today. It's really very helpful. Thank you, Nundi. You went very detailed and everything. It's very helpful. Thank you. <laughs>